Hey, we had a quick question on the forums about uh, changing things to a black and white scale. There was a thing about changing sprites to be black and white uh, as a sort of an old time effect or like a flashback. Um, what they were suggesting doing is uh, going into each and every sprite and making it black and white and like a graphics editor. But it's pretty silly to do that and time consuming considering the fact that there is a way built into RPG Maker to do this automatically, which is much, much easier. Uh, basically, you know how, uh, I'm sure you've heard people say this before, is you make one event in each scene that sort of controls everything. Uh, you know, that you would want anything to do as far as a cutscene goes, like anything not player directly player controlled. Uh, you can do that with this. So basically, you just create your event, you make a new command, you're going to come over to the second tab right here, go to the tent screen, and there's some really nice uh, presets dark, uh, sunset, night, all that kind of. I don't know if sepia, se sepia, I'm not quite sure how to say that, but anyway. Um, since the desired effect is to actually just change everything black and white, you're going to change your grayscale all the way to 255. And this time factor here is basically just how long you want it to go from colored all the way to black and white. Um, wait for completion is basically the same command as, you know, ever. <laughs> it means the same thing here as it does everywhere else, basically. It's just wait till this thing is done until you move on to the next command. So, okay, apply. You're going to want to change your trigger to auto run, as you do with most little GM events. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. There we go. We're all black and white. Um, if you don't want the fade in, you're just going to want to change that timer down to a lower frame rate. So there you go. Easy peasy.